In this video, we'll look at whether HBr is polar or nonpolar. So when we look at this here with this HBr, we're trying to figure out this bond right here between the hydrogen and the bromine. Are the electrons shared equally or unequally? Let's take a look at some electronegativity values to figure that out. So we see hydrogen here is 2.20 and then bromine 2.20. 96. So when this difference is greater than 0 0.5, as a general rule, we consider it to be a polar compound. So here the difference between H and Br is greater than 0 0.5. This is considered to be a polar molecule. What that means again is that the electrons in the bond here, they're going to spend more time around the bromine atom than the hydrogen. As a result, on the hydrogen, it'll be slightly positive. We say it has a slightly positive partial charge. And then here, over on the bromine, it'll be slightly negative. So we have this partial negative charge. And that's what makes HBr a polar molecule. This is Dr. B answering the question whether HBr is polar or nonpolar. It is considered to be a polar molecule. Thanks for watching.